Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 26 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I sold for $35 or less, less that I have picked up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, um, YouTube auctions, you name it. I source wherever I can get items for the right price that I can flip for money. I am a full-time reseller. This is my full-time job and I love it. I am so thankful that I get to do this every single day. Um, yeah, reselling is my passion. So we are going to get started and I hope you guys learn from this video. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, the first item we have is... This vintage dollhouse miniature baby boy. Uh, I got this in a lot of dollhouse items. Uh, he's super cool. He's got like, I don't know if it's like string, his body. I, it's very, very interesting. I think it's a boy. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a boy to me. But anyway, I sold this for $15.30. The buyer paid shipping and I probably got like a quarter in it. The next item came out of a mystery box. These are a set of four Disney 101 Dalmatian ceramic napkin rings. They are adorable. Um, I ended up selling these for $30 and the buyer paid the shipping. And again, these came out of a mystery box. The next item is this Paw Patrol Marshall Transforming Sea Patrol Vehicle and Figure. I can't remember if this was in a mystery box, if it was at a garage sale where I just bought a bunch of Paw Patrol stuff kind of been sitting around for a little while and I finally listed them all but I will tell you the sea patrol items are a bolo they sell fast at least they did for me um most of them sold over on Mercari so definitely consider putting your items over there uh toys do great on Mercari so what I do is I start my items on eBay and I cross post my items with an extension called list perfectly to Mercari and Poshmark. eBay is my number one selling platform. I love it, but um, I do very well on Mercari and Poshmark also. If you're interested in trying this perfectly, um, I have a link to a demonstration video down in the description. And at the end of the video, there'll be a uh, thumbnail that'll pop up that you can click on and it'll show you how List Perfectly works. You can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with referral coupon code Bolo Buddies. That's all one word. And I love it. I've been using it for over a year. Um, my Facebook group is down in the description. Also, if you guys have questions, feel free to uh, message me. I'll do my best to answer. Um, I'm not using the catalog. I simply just start with eBay and cross post to the others, but they just made the catalog unlimited now. So it's no matter how many items you have in the catalog, it's unlimited, no extra fees. So that is a great incentive to uh, check it out. That may have been holding some of you back. So that is, well, uh, let's see, when did that take place? In end of January, beginning of February. So, all right, uh, let's go on to the next bolo here. The next item I got in a mystery box, it's a Fisher Price Bright Beats Juniors Beat Bow. Um, it's just a little guy. Um, and you know, I didn't really, I wasn't real impressed, honestly. It didn't work that great, I didn't think, but I think it's just how it is. But I ended up taking a best offer of, nope, I'm sorry, it sold for a full asking price of $11.90 and the buyer paid shipping. And the reason I say that I didn't like the way it worked, but I thought it worked right, is I looked it up on YouTube and it, it worked the same way on the video I watched. So it's just definitely not a great toy in my opinion. The next item that sold is this Paw Patrol Everst. And Everst is a little bit harder to find. So definitely grab Everst if you see her. She sold for $10. I took a best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this cat, dog. I don't know what it is. It's a brooch. And it got a bid right away for $12.99. And I'm like, is this going to be a bolo? And I was super, super excited. But it just that was it. It sold for $12.99. It came in my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It is signed M-A-Z. So um, what do you guys think? Is this a cat or a dog? Comment below. The next item I sold is this USS O'Bannon hat. I bought a bunch of USS hats at a garage sale. I paid 50 cents each for them. 
I think I have them overpriced and I need to reduce the prices, but I have sold quite a few, but um, yeah, I think I need to go in and make adjustments. But this one sold for $16.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, I do have the others listed higher. This one I listed lower and it sold. So the Simpsons World of Simpsons, Dr. Nick's office. Um, somehow I had this one listed and it magically got unlisted. So I relisted it and it sold very, very quickly. Um, this came from a thrift store in my Simpsons lot. I got a huge, huge lot at a thrift store. I really lucked out. They have done really well. Um, this sold for $31.16 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Indian chief blow mold. And it's just a five and a half inch um, blow mold. And let's see. I, I don't really know much about it. It was with a bunch of toys. And there you go. It's got some uh, discolorations. And it sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And the next item I sold is this vintage photo album. So when I first listed this item, I had a offer and I declined it. And I should have accepted it because I sat on this thing for like two years. And it finally sold. And it sold for full asking price of $14.75 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale. And I'm guessing it was probably 50 cents or a dollar. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Blue Sing a Maja or Sing a Majig plush toy. Um, I don't know. It, it's very odd. And I never would have picked this up, but it was in a mystery box. So I decided to look up comps and comps were decent. So I took a best offer of $12. It sold pretty quickly and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage blue flower brooch pin. And this came in my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy 344 pounds of jewelry. And I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage loving family dollhouse sister. She's from 1993 and she sold for $16 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm pretty sure that one went internationally if I remember correctly. I bought her in a bunch of dollhouse items. This one came from a thrift store. I paid a dollar for it. It's a unicorn daughter Christmas ornament for ornament from 2004. It's new old stock. I was like, okay, it's a unicorn. Unicorns seem to be trending and this sold really quickly. Even though it says 2004, you guys, it still sold. And it sold for $20 full asking price and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage McDonald's toys. They're mini Barbies and Happy Meal toys. I took a best offer of $10. The buyer paid shipping. These were just mixed in with a bunch of toys um, that have been sitting in a tote forever. And I just lotted them up. The next item I sold is this Scooby-Doo haunted lighthouse with two monster figures. And I sold this for $24.60 and the buyer paid shipping. I can't remember where I got this. I think it was a garage sale. I probably would have paid two or three bucks for it. Maybe it was a thrift store. I'm not sure, but it would have been $5 or less for sure. Um, I don't think it was a mystery box. I just know I'm cheap. So I kind of know what I pay for things, even if I don't remember. <laughs> this is an old world Christmas ornament and it says our new home and it sold for $14. The buyer paid the shipping. And I believe that either came out, I think that came out of a mystery box, if I remember correctly. The next item is this Bucilla Christmas Santa checking his list cross stitch kit. I sold this for a best offer of $22. I picked it up at a thrift store for $2 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, these napkin rings I got at a thrift store for 50 cents and they are vintage and they're Santa. And I sold these for $20 and 49 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold is this Lego Bionicle and I bought this with a bunch of other Bionicles. This one sold for $20. Some of them go for big money. Some of them are bread and butter. So you just don't know until you look them up. And I sold this one for a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Boeing watch. 
And it's got this little airplane that is the second hand. I thought it was pretty cool. I picked it up at a thrift store for a buck. It sold really fast for $25 best offer, buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these vintage Colossian, I think is how you say it. They're like enamel floral bangle bracelets. There's three of them. I sold these for $15.49. It came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And they were kind of long tail. They did take a while to sell. So this patch came with the Girl Scout. Um, I don't know if that I talked about it in this video or not. But I bought some uh, Girl Scout vests and like a sash. And they were at a thrift store. And I paid $3 for all of it. And there were patches that were stuck inside the bag in between that. So I had no idea they were there. And this is one of those patches. And it sold for $22.49. And the buyer paid shipping. So that was definitely a nice surprise. The next item I sold is this big country farm toys horse brown. Most of you would not take the time to list this, but actually these little plastic, um, heavy, heavier plastic horses and animals do pretty well. And this is vintage. I sold it for $9.84 and the buyer paid shipping and I probably had like 10 cents in it. The next item I sold is this village um, putts house. Um, it's Christmas, it's made in Japan. This one is in poor condition. It was TLC. Somebody will buy this and they will fix it up and make it their own. But I ended up taking a best offer of $11 on this. The buyer paid the shipping. I picked this up in a lot of putts houses from a thrift store. And the last item I have for you is this Disney Pixar cars, um, trucker, semi hauler trucks. And I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid the shipping. Um, anything Disney cars, I always pick up. They do pretty well. And if I don't sell them individually, I will sell them in large lots. And um, yeah, people will definitely um, pick those up for their kids. It's way cheaper than like buying it full retail, right? And you might be surprised what one little car will sell for if you find the right one. So um, definitely check out my uh, What Sold videos. I sell lots of toys. That's kind of like my thing right now. I'm loving finding toys. So uh, there's going to be a couple videos that are going to pop up right here is going to be the list perfectly that I talked about. Again, referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, uh, all one word will get you 30% off your first month. And this, I can't point. Ah, I am so bad at pointing. Oh my gosh. Right here <laughs> is going to be the list perfectly video. I'm a horrible pointer. And then right here is the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And you're probably like, I'm not subscribing to her. She doesn't have a point. Um, and then I think there's going to be a Bolo video here and here. So definitely check out one of those if you're not interested in cross posting. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And like, comment, subscribe, and share. Definitely leave me a comment. I need comments. All right, you guys. Have a great night.